Right, we're back again at Focus on Imaging 2013, and we're on the Harmon stand again with Stephen Briley again. Hello. We've got another new exciting uh, pinhole camera related product to talk about, um, and it's the Obscura. Do you want to tell us about it? I'd love to. Um, product launches in four weeks' time, so this is the first public showing, and we've had a huge reaction to it. Um, We've, as you know, made for some time with Mike Walker, Walker Cameras, this beautiful Titan 5.4, uh -huh. and it does a great job, but it isn't for everybody because of the price. And we set ourselves a challenge, which was, could we make a 4x5 pinhole camera for a much more modest price, uh -huh. and try and allow people to have a go at pinhole without the bigger investment, and also make the camera um, pretty easy to use and, and and pretty attractive, frankly. So, absolutely. What we have here is a box. Right. And it's single shot, so you've got no dark light capability, and it, it still has a high quality pinhole. This is chemically etched stainless steel. But the really neat thing about it is it, it uses magnets to open and close the shutter. Fantastic. So, as you push across, the magnets face each other and grip. As you go to the open position. They do the same. So it has a sort of a snapping feeling to it. As it, it does, goes yes. Into it position. Sort of clicks across, backwards cool. and forwards. Very easy to use and completely light tight. Uh -huh. And then the camera itself has a bush on the bottom for a tripod. So it does, yeah. Which with the long exposures will be essential. Yeah. And the way you load film or paper into it, it's five by four inches. You pull, and there are magnets, if you can see them, oh, I that see. are posed yeah, yeah, that lock yeah. it. And when you open it up, you've got two boxes that fit one inside the other. Right. The bigger of the two boxes is four by five inches. And if you can see here, it almost reaches the bottom of the cavity. I see. The inner box. So that's so, going to hold the page in place. Yeah. Drop your sheet of film or paper in. Uh huh. Drop this on top. And that flattens it down to the back. Holds it in place against the back. So Brilliant. Simple. This is an image that uh, I created on uh, direct positive, and can you see it's got a black border because unexposed direct positive is black. That's right, and that's the bit, that's the, the edge that's holding it down. Correct. So right. that would have literally built in borders. <laughs> dropped to the bottom of the box, <laughs> see, yeah. and that would have gone on top and it holds it in place. Yeah. Oh, that's fabulous. What a, what a wonderfully simple design. Yes, it, it, we're really pleased with it and it, we've had a huge reaction here at the show because at £69, $99 plus tax uh -huh. in the States, um, it's great value for money and when you consider it comes shipped with um, 10 sheets of our Delta film, uh -huh. 10 sheets of multi-grade to make paper negatives and 10 sheets of direct positive. It actually comes with all the film as well. At that price, so it's great Crikey. value for money. Um, that's, that's brilliant. And rather like our uh, bigger brothers, the, uh -huh. the, the, the Titan cameras, it's got a pinhole exposure calculator. Just one aperture this time, f248, which is the aperture of this camera. Right. Um, and you can use film or paper with different ISO settings, transfer meter readings from your camera, yep. and then work out the correct exposure. Right. Um, so you sort of simplified the exposure calculator a little bit as well, um, a bit more specific? It's, pre it's pretty much the same as the other one. Yeah. Um, it just doesn't need different just doesn't focal need lengths, the other focal lengths yeah. unlike the other, you can't change the cone. Right. It's fixed at that. Right. Um, and we've got some other bits. I also shot some film on it, so difficult to see, but the, you can see it has thick white borders on film. Yeah. Um, produces great results with the direct positive, with film and with multi-grade. Right, right, fabulous. Um, the camera exposure calculator in the box, you cut it out with a pair of scissors, we provide the little clip in the centre to lock it together. Right. Um, keeps the cost down by making it yourself. Yeah, yeah, pair and of scissors is all you need, that's fine. My, the, my camera's been branded with these stickers, yeah. but it's it shipped with nothing on it. And you can then put onto it all these different stickers and do no branding at all or as much as you like. Right. Um, and this is the packaging for the product. Okay. Kind of, I was saying earlier, this kind of looks like Apple branded packaging to me. It's, well, it's, it's very, very funky and young looking. That was the idea. <laughs> we we uh, great. gave our design agency a brief and said, put somebody on the job who doesn't know the ill for brand. Fantastic. And they, do, they put a new recruit oh, on Oh, good it. for you. That's great. And it worked really well. That, 
Uh, and you're going to keep this branding just for this range of, of uh, Obscura cameras, are you? If it's successful, we'll probably do it in other formats. Right. But at this stage, it's just the 4x5. So That's great. four weeks from now, Hopefully it's a new market, that. Is, I hope so. I hope, hopefully you're going to get sort of like young college, college kids that might be interested in... I, I think we, we'll have all ages interested because I, I've had every age here. Well, I'm interested and, I, and I'm certainly not the young college crowd. <laughs> well, if you combine that with the insert for the Patterson tank, the MOD 54, yeah. you've got a... Now, I was going to ask you about developing this thing. So, mm. so this is a single shot camera. Yes. So let's imagine you go out in the field, you, you, you take a picture with this thing. How then do you get that turned into a final print? Well, um, there's two ways of using the camera. You can take single images and return to a darkroom and take them out and process them. So you can do your own darkroom processing, obviously, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Or alternatively, you can buy a changing bag, uh -huh. a large light type bag into which your hands can go, and that bag will allow you to load and unload the camera and take more shots. And each kit comes with this, which is it's an empty box, but it's a three tray box. And what it means is if you put your exposed result in the middle of the box and then put that on top, all in your changing bag, it keeps your exposed images safe till you can get to a dark room yeah, yeah. and process them. So you need to put on front of that box, this box left intentionally empty. In the start of those old manuals. I think it's in the instruction manual, but you're right. <laughs> you remember well, that old this page left intentionally yes. blank? <laughs> well, well, the minute you use this box up, you've got another box, because yes. that's what that is. Right, but right, we thought just the same thing. We thought we'd put it in from the beginning so people are somewhere to put their exposed images. Right. Yeah, um, that makes total sense. I sat down at the London Eye yeah. using this when we were testing it with a changing bag on my lap and got some very strange looks from passerby <laughs> as I fumbled in this large black bag. <laughs> I was expecting the police to arrive any minute. <laughs> so, a whole new reason for photographers to get hassled by the police, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I think it's a great product. No, I really think well. that's a very exciting product. I think the price is right. The construction, actually, considering it's a cheap camera, actually looks very solid. It's beautifully made here in England. We found a partner to make it. Made in England as well. It is, yes. Perfect. It's nice, isn't Perfect. it? Perfect. That's brilliant. Well, well done. I love Thank that you, you guys are pushing forward uh, pinhole photography like this. And as a, as a digital guy, you've got me thoroughly excited about analog, analog uh, photography. Thank so you, I'm, I'm going to get into it. Thanks. So thank you very much for your time. Pleasure. Thank you. Bye-bye. Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Please help support the show by using our sponsor's promo codes or by passing the promo codes on to your friends. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com. <laughs>